Design Visionary School for Engineers brings you NX books, training, and helpful tips. Today's tip on vacuum formed geometry. Welcome to Design Visionary's NX6 tips. In this tip, I'm going to show you how to create some vacuum formed geometry. The cool thing about this exercise is that it gives you one uniform thickness throughout your entire body. The even better thing about that is that if you want to change the thickness of that, you only have one expression to deal with. So without further ado, let's get on with the exercise. So I'm going to file new. You can call this whatever you want. Just say OK. And now you have a clean palette to work with. First thing I'm going to do is create a sketch. This sketch is going to be on that datum plane. Say OK. I'm going to use the profile command to create my sketch. And it's going to look something like this. Profile command often starts a little bit troublesome when you start using it, but once you get used to how it works, it's absolutely fantastic. What I want to do with this little sketch I've created is make sure that all these arcs and lines are tangent, so I'm going to my constraints. I'm going to say the end of that line and the end of that line are tangent. I need to check the rest of them. If they're tangent, they'll have this little circle right beside it, so this one isn't. So I'll click on both those lines and say that they're tangent too. Then I also want to make sure that all these arcs have an equal radius, like so. And then I want to make that line be midpoint on that point. So pick the line, pick the point, and say midpoint, like so. I want to make sure that all these lines are vertical, and these lines are horizontal, and that one is. Now I'll just check this one, that one is as well. And now I can start giving this dimensions. So these arcs here, they can be 25 millimeters. The distance between here and here can be 200. And distance between here and here can be 120, like so. Next thing I want to do is go to insert curve. Sorry, insert curve from curves, offset curve. I'm going to select that line and say I want the offset to be a distance of 20 millimeters. And say OK. And then I can finish the sketch. The next couple of things I'm going to do is I'm going to create two extrudes. I'm going to extrude the inside curves first and then I'm going to do the outside curves and they're going to go in opposite directions. So I'm going to my insert design feature extrude. I'm going to pick the inside curves, making sure that my selection filter is on connected curves. So select that one there. I want this direction to go down in the negative Z direction. And then I can say that that's going to go, let's try 40 millimeters. And I can, while I'm in there, give this a little draft from start limit and we'll make it 10 degrees. Say OK. So there's that bit of solid geometry created. The next one is going to be the outside curves. So again, insert design feature extrude. Pick my line using connected curves. We're not concerned about this distance as long as it's reasonably high. And the only thing we want to do here is change the Boolean feature to Unite. So unite to this body, and that's extremely important in this exercise. So there we have it. Next thing I want to do, just to make our model look a bit more impressive and a bit more like vacuum form geometry, is I want to give this some blends. So I'm going to go to the Edge Blend tool. I'm going to select that edge and the one down here, and it can have a radius of 10 millimeters. Say OK. And now, finally, we get to the important part. So I'm just going to fit my model in here. And 
then I'm going to go to my shell command which is up in this toolbar and making sure this is on tangent faces I want the thickness to be 5 and I can select the top one which is great but even more importantly what people don't realize you can do is you can select this side face and remove all those faces as well and that ends you up with a uniform thickness for your body to change that all you have to do is right click on shell say edit parameters and say that instead of 5 you want to make the thickness of your body 2 say ok and there you have it and there's your vacuum formed geometry we believe you will find our help to be invaluable designviz.com let us put our visionaries to work for you